By the year 2050, the world population is expected to grow to 9.7 billion. And the global consumption of the liquid petroleum will increase tremendously in coming years. It is estimated that if the present trend continues, the energy demand is projected to grow by more than 50% by 2025. India is heavily dependent on international markets to meet its crude demand. Currently, India meets 84.5% of its crude oil demand through imports, leaving the country susceptible to global price fluctuations most importantly. Unlimited demand for limited petroleum resources cannot be a satisfactory option for a long time. Therefore, before the things slip out of our hands, we must start working towards bringing transition from the non-renewable carbon source to renewable bio-resources. Not all renewable resources are feasible in all aspects. Like Space requirement Initial investment Geographical limitations Efficiency And some adverse environment impact Corn to ethanol concept can be a road map in this regard. Corn and rice are the most important and economical source of starch, comprising about 68 to 72 percent of kernel weight, which is easily converted into glucose and fermented into ethanol. Ethanol production process mainly involves grain pre-cleaning, milling, to reduce the particle size of raw material, mash or slurry preparation, liquefaction, where cooking and enzyme addition is done, fermentation, where conversion of an organic material from one chemical form to another is produced using enzymes, distillation, where ethanol is separated from ethanol, water mixture. Grinding or milling is the most important process in ethanol production, as achieving desired particle size with minimum operating cost not only helps in good yield of ethanol, but also reduces the cost of enzyme dosing. Particle size should be appropriate for best results. The particles have to be small enough to yield high water access, but they should not be too small so that they cause problems in the recovery of co-products. Lark Hammond Mill is performing well in terms of particle size, noise, vibration, maintenance cost and power consumption per ton of grinding. Feedback of particle size from our clients is as mentioned. Though we have supplied several milling machines in livestock and other related industry in India and abroad, we are naming here a few clients of grain-based distilleries with brief details.